Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurologic disorder. Uh, it involves both motor symptoms and non-motor symptoms. Uh, and the main driver of the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease is a decrease in the amount of dopamine in the brain. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that helps to control the motor circuit in the brain. When there's not enough dopamine, uh, it results in decreased uh, speed of movement, uh, decreased amplitude of movement, uh, how big a movement is. Uh, people have difficulty with initiating movement, getting started, getting up out of a chair, getting up out of a car. Parkinson's remains a clinical diagnosis. Uh, it's not diagnosed via a blood test or an MRI scan. Uh, it's diagnosed when you meet with a neurologist who is familiar with movement disorders and Parkinson's disease and can identify the symptoms that a person is experiencing. Medications that we use are designed to replace dopamine in the brain, that chemical that's missing, and uh, they can do an effective job towards treating the slowness of movement, the stiffness, the gait difficulty. Um, but it's uh, um, the non-motor symptoms, those can be treated with other medications as well. And we're learning that exercise is a very important part of the treatment of Parkinson's disease uh, towards improving the symptoms as well as slowing their progression over time. The most important thing is developing a comprehensive plan between a patient and the neurologist uh, to uh, identify the problems that uh, an individual patient is experiencing and treat them appropriately.